Okay, boys and girls, this is how to round using a vertical number line. Let's get started. Here we're going to go ahead and round the number 2 and 38 hundredths. First thing we need to do is put that into a place value chart. So we've got two ones, three tenths, and eight hundredths. Next thing we need to do is we need to take a look at what uh, we are rounding to, and in this case, we're gonna round to the nearest tenth. We need to also find that place on the chart because that is going to help us find the floor of our vertical number line. Here's our vertical number line. Here's the floor. The number at the floor, the bottom of your number line, will be this number right here, 2.3. Now, because we're rounding to the tenths place, we're actually not going to include this number. That will actually be a zero. So your floor will be 2.3, and you could even add a zero there if you want. It might be helpful um, when we find the midway point. To find the ceiling, it's the same number, uh, 2.3, but the tenths digit, or the tenths place, will increase by one. So the ceiling will be 2.4, and we can add a zero on the end as well. To find the midway point, you need to take a look to find the number that comes halfway in between there. We've got 2.3 or 2.30, looks like a 30, and 2.40, which looks like a 40. Halfway is 35, so we will do 2.35 for our midway point. Next thing we need to do is we need to um, plot this number onto the vertical number line, and we can see that we've got 2.35 here and 2.40 here, which means 2.38 is going to come somewhere in between those numbers. This will be 2.36, 2.37, 2.38, 2.39, and you probably heard me say 2.38 falls right here. So 2.38 is there. And that's not the end. We need to figure out what we're rounding to. So because 2.38 falls, above the midway point, then you will round to the ceiling. So rounded to the ceiling is 2.40. 2.38 rounded to the nearest tenth is 2.40 or 2.4. Let's go ahead and try this number. This is 475 and 214 thousandths. First thing you need to do is get that number into a place value chart. So we have our 475, 214. And we're going to round to the nearest hundredth. So we need to find the hundredths place on our chart. That will kind of be the end of the road in terms of um, uh, the number for the floor. Here's our vertical number line. So for the floor, uh, like I said before, you're going to do the whole number that we have and you're gonna stop in the hundredths place. Anything after the hundredths place is a zero. So we have 475.21 as our floor. And then the ceiling will be pretty much the same number except that the hundredths place will increase by one. So this is 475.22. Now we need to find the midway point. And the midway point sometimes is easier to find if you add a zero onto the end here. So now this looks a lot like 210, this is 220, and midway between that is 215. Everything else stays the same, so this is 475. 0.215 as our midway point. Now we need to go ahead and plot our original number 475 uh, and 214 thousandths. So we can go ahead and take a look here. This is 210 
and this is 215, and this, whoops, this here is 214. So we know that it's going to come in between uh, the floor and the midway point. So this will be uh, 211, 475.212, 475.213, and then this right here will be 475.214. Now we can see that that number uh, falls between the floor and the midway point. So it's below the midway point. If it's below the midway point, then we need to round down to the floor. So that means 475 and 214 thousandths rounds to 475 and 200, uh, 210 thousandths or to 21 hundredths. And there you go. So those are a couple of examples for rounding using a vertical number line. I hope that's helpful. Uh, go back and watch it a couple of times if you need practice, and I will see you soon.